Hey guys, on today's episode we're going to be reviewing the Stalingrad Trooper, an amazing timepiece from the Stalingrad watch company. And not only that, in this episode I'm running a contest to give this watch away. Now times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. <music> Hey everyone, Matt Johnson here. I'm your host of my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I bring you the very best in watch news, watch reviews, and craft beer brews. I was gonna say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday again, but I already said that. We're going to be taking a look at the Stalingrad Trooper. Now, I've reviewed four, four? Now, I've reviewed four Stalingrad watches before. I reviewed the Stalingrad Kursk, the Stalingrad Torpedo, the Stalingrad Destroyer, and the Stalingrad Grim Grenade, which is a great field watch that I have on my wrist today. Now, if you want to check out those reviews, you can find the links to those reviews in the description below this video. So I suggest that if you enjoy this review, when you've watched it, you go along and check out those too. Why do I suggest that? Well, because Stalingrad, in my opinion, are making amazing watches that are affordable, great build quality, and very, very unique. By the way, guys, I say that, um, and you can trust me, because I don't get paid anything for my reviews. As a matter of fact, I have to send these watches back. That is, of course, except for this one that we're going to review today, the Stalingrad Trooper, because I've managed to convince the folks at Stalingrad to allow me to keep this, but not for myself. I've agreed for them to let me keep it to give it away to one of you, which is insane because this is a beautiful watch and we're going to take a look at it and review it in a moment. Now, if you want to win this watch, it is very, very simple. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, the first thing you have to do is subscribe. Look, I'm sorry, guys but I only do my giveaways for my loyal subscribers. So if you want a chance to win this or any other giveaway in the future, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, if you've never subscribed to a channel before, it's very, very easy. It's completely free. You can unsubscribe at any point. All you have to do is click on the subscribe link over there to the right of the screen. So you just roll your mouse over that little YouTube circle and uh, click subscribe. Or if you're watching this on your mobile device, it will be below this video. So now that you're subscribed, here's what you have to do. You have to watch this review to to the end of the video and count how many times I say Stalingrad. Now you might want to go back and watch it again from the start. That's just a little tip because I think I said Stalingrad a few times before I told you the rules. Just saying. And then at the end of the video, when you're sure you've got the right answer, you place a comment in the comment section below with the amount of times that I said Stalingrad. That's it. On Wednesday, November 11th, so two weeks from today, we will do the draw here on my my channel of the winner. Today's beer that I'm drinking is Coors Slices from the company Coors, which is based here in Canada. I'll put a link in the description below this video to their website where you can go along and check out their amazing line of refreshing beers. This one, Coors Slices, has a hint of lime in there. So let's give it a try, see what it tastes like. I was expecting the lime to be a lot sweeter and be a bit sickly. It's really just a cool, refreshing 4.2% lager with the slightest hint of lime in there. What we're gonna do now is swing this camera around and take a closer look at this watch from Stalingrad. All right, here we are with the review of the Stalingrad Trooper. I'm wearing on my wrist today the Stalingrad Grenade, which is a beautiful field watch from the folks over at Stalingrad. And again, I'll pop a link in the description below this video. Now, here is the Stalingrad box. It's got the red there, the Stalingrad logo embossed in black on the lid. Inside, we have the uh, Stalingrad watch on a little gray kind of leatherette cushion. And also in there, we have the Stalingrad warranty card. We also have a Stalingrad hang tag. The Stalingrad Trooper comes in four different designs. They range anywhere from $170 to $195. This one is the model number SG-2266 dash zero three. It's on this gray Cordura strap with orange stitching. We've got a matching orange keeper and a black keeper sewn in place. The case is a 316L stainless steel with a blue face with matching orange accents. I really, really like this particular version of the Stalingrad Trooper. The case width on this is 42 millimeters. It's got a water resistance of 10 ATMs, 100 meters, 300 
130 feet. You know what? I'm going to bring in my calipers just so we can get a few more measurements on this. We've got a case thickness of 11.3 millimeters. We've got a bandwidth of 20 millimeters and we've got a lug to lug about 47.9 millimeters. Now we can see on the face that first of all, it's got applied hour markers. Now each one of these markers is loomed and so are the hour and minute hands. And I believe that little tip on the uh, end of the second hand there is loomed as well. So as you can see, there is the loom on the Stalingrad Trooper. It's very bright, very crisp, easy to read. That is very good loom. And so that is a big thumbs up for this watch. We've got a chronograph dial. We've got a second hand, as you can see, going around at the nine o'clock position. At the six o'clock position, we've got the minute hand running through to 60. We've got the second hand in this bright orange to match the orange accents of the watch. The top button is going to start the chronograph, as you can see, and it's got a nice sweep to it there. This is a quartz movement in this watch. We stop that with the same button, and then this button will reset the chronograph dial. At the three o'clock position, we've got a date complication window with an orange kind of border to that. It is very legible. We've also got a minute track around the inner circle and then a seconds track around the outside. Now the finish on this case is highly polished and then we've got this stainless steel kind of brushed finish to it. The glass on this is a mineral crystal. It is slightly raised but not domed. The back is a screw down stainless stainless steel case back with the Stalingrad logo there in the center. We've also got that it's a Japan made quartz movement, water resistant to 100 meters and stainless steel. Now, as far as the strap goes, it's a Cordura strap. It's gray on the outside with orange stitching. We've got the Cordura logo there and the Stalingrad logo just there. The buckle on this is a Tang stainless steel buckle. It is signed with the Stalingrad logo and the buckle on this is very, very nice. Actually, I find with all of the Stalingrad buckles, they're good head heavy duty, really well made buckles. Now, if you've never heard of Cordura, let me give you a little bit of insight into Cordura. The substance Cordura was first released by DuPont in 1929 as a type of rayon fabric. Now, it was used in World War II in military tires, believe it or not. By 1979, Cordura had basically 40% of the luggage market. So when you see your soft uh, luggage, when you go on vacation, that is Cordura. Cordura. It's tear resistant, it's got great color retention, abrasion resistant, and water repelling. You'll find it in backpacks, luggage, motorcycle clothing, things like that. So it's a very, very robust, durable, hard wearing fabric. We've got a little blue kind of accent of Cordura here, which matches the blue in the face. Overall, I just think that the uh, way they've put this together with the matching colors and picking up the accents is really, really on point. The end of the band here is actually squared off which is a little unusual. Normally you'd see a rounded band on there or a kind of an arrowhead band, but this one's squared off. I kind of like it. As far as the tang buckle on this goes, it works very nicely. I find that with all of the Stalingrad watches, the tang buckles work beautifully. The holes are really, really nicely done on the straps. And it's just a really nice, elegant quality finish. The movement inside is a Quartz Epson YM95 movement. As far as the crown on this goes, as you can see, it's signed with a Stalingrad star. It has some good coinage to it there. The first pullout on this will set the date. The uh, second pullout will set the time. And again, I can do that with one thumb. I love the crowns on all of the Stalingrad watches. Everything works nicely and is really solidly built. So there you go, guys. That's my review of the Stalingrad Trooper. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are as excited about this contest as me. So don't forget, subscribe and get the answer in the comments comment section below on how many times you think I said Stalingrad in this video. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Check out that video right there. That's a good one. And click on the Beer and Watchers logo to subscribe. We'll see you again Friday. Take care. Bye for now.